onto the video that's supposed to be filmed for today. So um, I've been doing a lot of traveling recently all the time and so I've been like I need to create a little to go witchy kit especially since I am going to Texas to see some family and they are quite of the Christian religious variety of family which is fine. Like my immediate family is like the weird little oddballs of this group like everyone else is like they're a bit odd. We love the odd. We love the weird. Um, so uh, there's definitely some tools I'm going to be bringing with while I'm going to be a little bit in the broom closet with this outing a wee bit. Um, I mean, if I get asked about it, I'm not going to say no or like I'm not a witch. I'm a pay. I'll say like I'm a pagan. That's what I'm doing. If you'd like to look at my channel, you can. It's there. Which I guess my mom is. God love her. But she's one of those people where she's like, if we're talking about it, then why doesn't everyone know about it? And we're just going to talk about it and brag about it. Which is great, because it is something wonderful and you should brag about. But at the same time, eh, no. So I'm going to basically put together kind of a conservative witchy kit um, for travel use. So hopefully if anyone else finds this helpful, um, something else you can bring with you. So I'll show you guys what I'm going to be packing to bring with me for a little bit of weekend witchery while I'm away in Texas, surrounded by all the Christian people. Yay. So here's what I got for my little witch kit that I'm going to be packing for this weekend. First things first is pretty inconspicuous and easy is crystals. I'm going to bring about five in case I want to make a small little crystal grid. These are just basically random. I know that one in the middle is either malachite or obsidian I think. Not entirely sure. Basically these are just the ones that vibe the best to vibrate the best in my hand and we'll see what I can do from there. Nothing that's going to get flagged in the airport and nothing that any of my relatives would think are a little too odd. And then next we have a little roller ball thing of incense. Incense of oil. Ha! Or a cleansing oil. Um, I got this out of my white witch box from last. It's um, rosemary, myrrh, I think a little bit of lavender in there too. It's got a little uh, crystal in there as well. It's infused with it perfect thing just to put on my wrists or anything else if I want to do a little anointing or cleansing. Next thing is a couple pieces of jewelry. I don't want to bring exactly a pentagram ring per se, but I like this one a lot. Um, I love the symbolism of it. It just feels very magical to me. And then of course my moon, crescent moon pendant is just a staple of my wardrobe anyway, so why not use it? Next is a little bar of soap. Um, this is olive oil soap that has lavender in it, and it is actually from Greece, from a specific town um, that my parents got for me, and I feel like just having any sort of soap that's kind of infused with goodness and a little bit of a great herb, just something great to bring with you. You can feel like you're cleansing in the bath or the shower, feel like it's more of a ritualistic thing. And finally, I have a new deck of tarot cards. Um, this is an old one that my grandmother had, and it's basically the right away tarot deck that she um, printed out and then colored over to kind of make more her own. And it's like the perfect deck for me to just travel with because it's small, easy, and if it gets ruined, it's not such a big deal since her other main deck was a different set of cards. So that's what I got for I'm going to be bringing my little witchy travel kit. Uh, all these things are pretty simple, easy, and nothing all that hard. I don't want to bring any lighter incense, um, cone, stick, or otherwise just because sometimes it's hard. I don't want to be burning anything in anyone else's house, but... Yeah, so please like and subscribe, guys, and this part of Utober will be a new video tomorrow. Okay, bye.